spending less money on a computer saves you money. That might seem to be self-evident, but well, maybe it needs to be said for some people. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. If you buy a computer for a little under $700, you spend less money than if you spend $1,000. True. But here's an interesting question. Do you actually save money in the long run, or do you just save money up front and are then forced to spend more money sooner? Total cost of ownership. If you take a $700 computer that lasts you two years, how much per year does that cost you? $350. If you take a $1,000 computer and it lasts you three years, how much does that cost you? Mm, $350. $333 a month. There you go. A, a year, excuse me. A little bit less, but pretty close. But you know what's nice about the $1,000 computer versus the $700 computer? What? You get a much nicer computer the first year, a generally better computer the second year, although not as good of a computer the third year, because in theory, if you replace the other one in the second year, you'd have a better computer in the third. That's true. However, you may end up still replacing it in two years, but you have a noticeably better computer as opposed to the cheaper one. I have two laptops here to show you guys. And I'm gonna use these as an example of how the cheaper machine is not always the deal, especially if your needs might change in the future because you cannot just add extra features to laptops, which is why we're looking at laptops. So bright screen warning for anybody watching this. This is an Acer Nitro 5 $685 laptop, 15.6 inch full HD, 1080p IPS, 144 hertz display, eight gigabytes of DDR4 system RAM, 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD, Intel Wi-Fi 6, very nice backlit keyboard. This has an Intel Core i5 10300H. Now the 10300H, that is a high performance chip. That's a 45 watt performance chip. It will sustain turbo through extended gaming sessions. If you want a game with a laptop, you definitely want an H chip but that is a four core, eight thread chip. And in 2021, going into 2022, four cores is decidedly very entry level, but it works. CSGO, League of Legends, World of Tanks, World of Warships, Dota 2, Grand Theft Auto 5, older games, Rise of the Tomb Raider instead of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. If you're picky, if you're, if you're, uh, Minecraft. Yep. Fortnite, Apex Legends. Well, if you're not doing mods, Minecraft can be a bit rough with mods. Well, no mods, but, you can do a lot on a four core, eight thread chip, even today, but it's not ideal. Obviously, you're gonna have to be choosy about game selection, definitely no multitasking, and it's not gonna age very well. Correct. Eight gigs of RAM in 2021? Yuck, add some more RAM. And it does have an RTX 3050, four gigabytes of RAM, which, you know, I really don't mind, actually, because for a four core, eight thread chip, you're only playing games that really don't need more than four gigabytes of VRAM anyway. GTA 5 will run just fine at 1080p on that RTX 3050. League of Legends, Dota 2, World of Warships, World of Tanks, they'll run fine on this machine. Here's the problem with fine. If you can remotely afford it, we go from $685 to 1020 what do we get for the 1020? You get an i7 11800H. That is an eight core, 16 thread, 4.6 gigahertz CPU. I don't know about all of you, eight cores? but eight cores kicks the ever loving heck out of four cores in 2021 going into 2022. Higher turbo speed, higher sustain speed. That's pretty nice. It also has an RTX 3050 Ti which is not actually massively faster than the 3050, but it's it's faster. Yep, it's got a bigger screen. It does have a bigger screen. It's got a 17.3 inch full HD IPS screen. Notice it comes with 16 gigs of RAM. And a one terabyte NVMe. The other one has 256. Correct. So by the time you buy another eight gigs of RAM and storage in the other one, you're no longer at this price. You're really actually closer to like $800. 
So these become $200. Now I know this is 17 inch. You can find these in uh, similar for 13. I'm just using that as an example. You can find them in the 15.6. So the, the $680 machine is light on RAM, lower, way lower end CPU, four cores, non-TI graphics card, 256 gig storage, and the thousand R machine has 16 gigs, a terabyte of storage, eight cores. In this case, the larger screen and the 3050 Ti versus the 3050. If you buy the nearly $700 laptop, it takes one game, one program, something that comes out in six months that just doesn't run right on four cores. And your machine's done. Now you're... You may say, well, it'll last me two years. It will until the day you want to play some new game that you go, oh. Can't do that. This runs like crap. Mm -hmm. Can you play Call of Duty Vengeance or Battlefield 2042 on the $700 machine? Not very good. You, they will launch, they will run, and they will display pictures. At, like, low detail. The frame times would be awful. With a four-core chip, it'll be stuttery. So what ends up happening? You just spend $700 on a machine that doesn't have enough RAM, doesn't have enough storage, and will have to be upgraded sooner than you think. Or you spend $1,000, you get double the RAM, four times the storage, double the cores, a faster GPU. For 200 bucks, or just over. I would argue that spending more might actually be cheaper. You can take this example and apply it to desktops, to custom builds, to pre-builds. There is a law of diminishing returns. Certainly this does not mean everybody needs a Threadripper. This does not mean that everybody needs a 3090 at 1080p. That would be absurd. There is a, there is a point at where you go too far. You know, a Lexus is nicer than a Toyota, but this does not mean that everybody needs a Rolls Royce. Those are insanely expensive. Yes, they are. But they do have an umbrella in the door. They do. Do you want to add anything to this sort of thought process when picking de laptops, desktops, when trying to decide, do I spend an extra 50 or or $100 to get the better CPU or the better GPU? Well, I guess, are you buying something for now and only doing now things later? Or are you buying for later for now? Does that make sense? Do you want to play yesterday's games or tomorrow's games? Correct, because if, if, if there is some stuff coming that you want to play, four cores ain't going to cut it. If you're not, mute point. If you are, well, then you need to plan for that. This is also a good example of how I think a lot of people will compare the price of one component. And they'll say, well, I can buy this, this six-core CPU for 300 this eight-core CPU for 400 or the 12 core CPU for 500. Well, 500 over 300 is nearly twice the money. Yeah, That's $200. Yeah, buying for the use case at that. But they're also forgetting that a computer is not one part. It's not. By it's the time you the wrap the case, power supply, motherboard, cooler, video card, storage, and everything else, everything. a $200 difference isn't 70% more money. In a total system, it might be the difference between $1,500 and $1,700. And now that's a fairly small price difference for literally double the CPU. It's very true. Are you buying on price or user experience? In fairness, with desktops, you can, of course, you can upgrade the CPU where you can oh, on yeah, laptops. No. Yeah, la laptops are a little more permanent in what But you then you're spending to. twice and you have to figure out something to do with the old CPU and you didn't get to enjoy the amazing experience. So you go, well, I'll spend the 300 now and I'll upgrade later. Fine. So maybe in two years you get a 12 core chip and it's only 300 then and you can sell your old chip for 100. And how many 100. questions do we get? How do I do that? We get a lot of those questions. Let's say you can upgrade in two years, just for the sake of discussion, for only $100 instead of 200 today. Fine. Are you willing to pay 50 bucks a year to have a Ryzen 9 instead of a Ryzen 5? I would. That's me. But that's the question you're actually asking. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to pay... Well, $50 would be what? Uh, $3, $4 a month? 
literally the price of a coffee each month to have a 5,900X instead of a 5,600X. The truth of the matter is, yeah, people there's have, no value in those budget chips. People have to ask different questions. They're not asking the right questions. I will pay $4 a month to have a 5,900X instead of a 5,600X. Heck yeah. And it will last longer. And once it's built and it's stable and it works every day and I don't have to mess with it, <laughs> you open it up and start messing with it, you, yeah. you introduce a possibility of something going wrong. Do not wake a sleeping baby. The moms understand that. They do. And so did the dads too. Don't wake a sleeping mommy after <laughs> she's taking care of the sleeping baby. You see, I actually, this is a totally serious side note. Even now, our kids are now basically teenagers. One's a preteen, but about to be a teenager. If it's four o'clock in the afternoon and Rogue is lying in bed having a nap and I walk in and I see her, I don't go over and touch her and push her, see, are you really sleeping? I walk backwards very slowly out of the room and leave her. If she's laying down, she needs a rest and you don't mess with it. If your computer works. Don't mess with it. Back away from the computer. <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comment section below. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.